we have the displacement relation of a progressive wave y of xt is equal to a sin omega t minus kx where a is the amplitude omega the angular frequency k the wave number and x is the horizontal displacement we already have derived this expression in our previous video if you have any doubt you can go and check the video i'll put the link in the description below that is if you consider a wave this is the y-axis or the vertical displacement and this is the horizontal displacement suppose this is the wave Suppose P be any point on the point on the wave, this represents this vertical displacement is the y of xt. Y of xt. Where x is the horizontal displacement. X. So for convenience, let, let's write y of xt as y. Y equal to a sin omega t minus kx. This is actually the particle velocity, particle displacement. This is called particle displacement. Displacement. Now, in order to find the particle velocity v, we must derive the, we must find the derivative of y with respect to time. That is dy by dt, which is equal to d by dt of y equal to a sin omega t minus kx. This is equal to derivative of a. You can take this a outside and derivative of sin is cos cos omega t minus kx into derivative of omega t is omega. This is equal to omega a cos omega t minus kx. So this is the this is the particle velocity. You can write that as C V equal to omega A cos omega T minus Kx. But you know sine theta plus 90 or theta plus pi by 2 is actually cos theta. So this cos omega t minus kx can be written as v equal to omega a sin omega t minus kx plus pi by 2. Clear. So this is the expression for velocity. And this one is the displacement. Now if you check, if you compare both y and v, that is displacement and velocity, you will find that we will find that the phase of here it is omega t minus kx but here it is omega t minus kx plus a pi by 2 factor which means velocity is is ahead of ahead of displacement y by pi by 2 clear velocity is ahead of displacement by phase pi by 2. This is the phase. Now again we have v is equal to omega a or you can simply refer this equation also. Both, the, both these v are the same. Now in order to have the maximum velocity v max this cos omega t minus kx must be 1. So the maximum velocity will be omega a or we have v max is equal to omega is actually 2 pi divided by t time period a 2 pi by t is the omega so 2 pi by t a is the maximum velocity clear now in order to find the acceleration or the particle acceleration particle acceleration a this is particle velocity v particle acceleration a is actually derivative of velocity with respect to time so d by dt of 
v is equal to you can write you can put this equation omega a cos omega t minus kx and you know that this omega a is constant you can take that out and derivative of cos is equal to minus sin omega t minus kx into another omega so acceleration will be omega into omega omega square you can write minus omega square a sin omega t minus kx but if you look at this equation that is this one a sin omega t minus kx that's actually displacement y so so acceleration equal to i'll write here acceleration is equal to minus omega square y clear this y of x t can be written as y it's possible for convenience so acceleration is equal to omega square y so what will be the maximum acceleration from this equation we have a max maximum acceleration this term will be 1 the maximum value of sine is 1 so maximum acceleration is equal to omega square a or a max is equal to omega is equal to 2 pi by t 2 pi by t whole square a, a. so maximum velocity will maximum acceleration will be minus 4 pi square by t square a clear 